Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 8-18 that is taken from chapter number 8, Combined Loading. And the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement of the problem is the vertical force P acts on the bottom of the plate having negligible weight determine the shortest distance D to the edge of the plate at which it can be applied so that it produces no compressive stress on the plate at section AA. The plate has a thickness of 10 mm and P acts along the center line of this thickness. So you can see the figure, this is the plate having total length is 800 mm clear and this P load is applied from this edge at a distance of D. So you have to find this shortest distance d from this edge so that this p should not produce any compressive stress the thickness of plate is 10 millimeters so let's start with the solution so if you cut this beam at section a a and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this okay the this width of the plate is equal to 200 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.2 meter and when you cut it at this point so you will be having a normal force that will act at the center center of this body and this force is represented as let this force is equal to p clear and this p the we, we can take it as n we should because p is given in the downward so let this force is equal to n and p which is applied at this is the p force which is applied at a distance of d from this h clear and when you cut it you will be having a moment as well so this moment is given as moment m also you can see that uh, this is the half of this plate there which this distance will be equal to 0 0.1 meter because this will be the half okay so this distance will be equal to 0 0.1 minus d okay so we'll apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so what we have taken is that let this distance is x this distance is y and z is along out of plane this is z this is x and this is y so sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero so along y direction there is n force which is upward and minus p which is downward is equal to zero so it means that this n will be equal to p now we will find the moment so sum of all moment and let this point is point c so sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point C one moment is this one which is counterclockwise so it will be positive. So I will write plus M and the second moment is this force P and perpendicular distance is this one. And this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative. So I will write minus P into 0 0.1 minus D will be equal to 0. So it means that this moment will be equal to P times 0 0.1 minus D. So this is the moment that is produced. Now you can see that this is the problem of uh, combined loading in which there is an axial stress, uh, axial force which will produce axial stress that is n by a and due to this movement there will be a bending stress clear and this bending stress is sigma m is equal to m y divided by i so this is purely case of combined loading so i will write combined loading and we know that in combined loading 
the formula is normal stress is equal to p by a plus minus m into y divided by i since we are talking about compressive stress so sigma is equal to p divided by a minus m into y divided by i sigma compressive okay so you can see that due to this loading there will be a movement like this clear and it will cause the um, it will cause the uh, this plate to bend and the condition is given that uh, select this distance d in such a way that this compressive stress is equal to zero so we will put zero is equal to p by a minus m into y divided by i so for that uh, a and i we have section properties so section property means we have to find area and moment of inertia so area is equal to now this is the plate having width 200 millimeter and thickness is given as 10 millimeter so this is the thickness 10 millimeter so this area will be equal to 200 millimeter which is 0 0.2 and thickness is 10 millimeter which is 0 0.01 meter so when you multiply it you will get the area or area will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 and the unit will be square meter now we'll find i about what x is or i is equal to 1 over 12 b h q now you can see this is the neutral axis which is about z so i z will be equal to this is the b and this is the height h so 1 over 12 b is 0 0.01 clear and height is 0 0.2 q okay so now we have the unit will be q meter power 4 now you can put it in this formula again so you will get 0 is equal to p by a so p is equal to n or it is p so p divided by area is 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.01 minus m is p times 0 0.1 minus d divided by 1 over 12 0 0.01 into 0 0.2 whole q so this will be equal to 0 and this term will be equal to uh, so if you simplify it and take p as common so you will get p minus 1000 plus 1500 15000 into d is equal to 0 what will you will do is that you will multiply 0 0.2 with this and uh, and you then divide 1 with, with this value so it will be 500 p and again you will multiply p with this and p with this as well and divide by this so you will get this values okay now from here you can see this is p and this is another term so their multiplication is equal to zero it means that it means either p is equal to zero or minus thousand plus fifteen thousand into d is equal to zero since p is not equal to zero because p load is applied clear so therefore minus thousand plus fifteen thousand into d is equal to zero so fifteen thousand d is equal to thousand and d will be equal to zero point zero six six seven meter or in millimeter d will be equal to 66.7 millimeter and this is the shortest possible distance from this edge if you select this uh, d is 66.7 millimeter 
and apply the load of P so it will produce no compressive stress in this plate and the distribution of this stress in this plate will be like this let me draw it as well so again you can see that this movement will be like this one and this one so this portion will be in tension so here the maximum stress will start from here so the distribution will be like this and at the other end there is no compressive stress so distribution will be like this okay so this is the stress distribution in the plate where we have sigma tensile and there is sigma compressive is equal to zero and that was all about this problem 8-18 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it all the links of different chap chapter problems are available in description box so if anyone needs he or she can go to the description box and click on the given link and uh, if you have any question regarding my problems then do let me know in the comment section those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can again ask in comment section thank you for watching